hemorrhoids are very common. Everybody is born with some degree of hemorrhoid. They're a normal finding. Um, but most people don't have problems with them. There are two main types of hemorrhoids. There's internal and external hemorrhoids. And the big difference is not so much where they're located, but what they're covered with. External hemorrhoids are covered with skin. Internal hemorrhoids are covered with colon tissue. External hemorrhoids, because they're covered with sensitive skin, tend to hurt and burn and itch. Internal hemorrhoids tend to bleed. Uh, certain things make hemorrhoids worse. Prolonged sitting uh, position. Basically, anything that allows the blood to pool in these hemorrhoids, because the hemorrhoids are basically veins. And just like the veins on the back of my hand, they swell up with gravity. So when your hand is down, you'll see your big veins on the back of your hand. When your hand is up, you won't see them. Uh, hemorrhoids are the same thing. And so when people are sitting for long periods of time, the hemorrhoids swell. My truck drivers typically have some of the worst hemorrhoids because they're prolonged sitting. Um, pushing or straining the what we doctors call a Valsalva maneuver, which is where you have to push something like a poop out, or alternatively heavy lifting, you'll make that same maneuver. That forces more blood down into the hemorrhoids and makes them swell up a little bit. Then if a stool is coming down through the rectum, it's gonna to touch those hemorrhoids right at the bottom of your rectum and maybe pop them open and bleed. Sometimes that swelling motion will make them itch and burn. We have a couple of different treatments for it. Number one is avoid those things that make them worse, like prolonged sitting or straining. Number two is keep your stool soft by eating fruits and vegetables, drinking a fair amount of water, and maybe taking a laxative. You don't get addicted to laxatives, that's an old wives' tale. Uh, but that will definitely help keep the stool soft so it doesn't traumatize the hemorrhoids. After that, we got some therapies for it. Your preparation H's of the world work a little bit and shrink them up, but they only work for a few hours. We have treatments that we can do with the scope, or we can either put rubber bands or inject them with salt water, which will make them shrink up. And that works for about a year or two. That really only works for the bleeding hemorrhoid type. It doesn't work so much for the itchy, burning external hemorrhoids. The external hemorrhoids, the definitive treatment is surgery. That can be pretty painful but it works really good and you'll be hemorrhoid free for a decade. For some reason, hemorrhoids come back. No matter what we do, hemorrhoids have a tendency to come back. But if you have surgery, it doesn't come back for 10 to 15 years. If you do the rubber bands, it might come back in uh, one or two years. Uh, and like I said, with the creams, that only works for a few hours. The best thing to do is to keep the stool soft, avoid heavy straining, and I think you'll do pretty well as far as the hemorrhoids are concerned. Nobody ever dies from a hemorrhoid, okay? They're just a pain in the butt.